Mexico City, the most populated city in North America and a hotbed for Hispanic culture. Enriched with both history and architecture, the people who call it home have a love for basketball that runs deep. Inspired by one of its most iconic landmarks, El Monumento La Revolución serves as a logo for the city's first ever NBA G League team, the Capitanes. But how does this team and its various personalities interact with the vibrant Mexican culture? Hello and welcome to Mexico City. I'm April Marie with the NBA G League and I'm standing outside El Monumento de la Revolución, which was the inspiration behind the Capitanes logo. Throughout this series, we'll be taking a deeper dive on the impact that this city and its people have had on the growth of basketball. This is Capitanes, made in Mexico City. <laughs> Moises Andreasi, a 22-year-old rising star in the local community, is one of two Mexican players on the Capitanes roster who will have the opportunity to play at home in front of family and friends this season. Justin Minaya, a rookie, making his official debut in the G League this season, coming out of Providence. Just the culture of Mexico, You, when you get here, you just feel warm, you just get, feel like they welcome you so, so well, so yeah, the culture here is is, is different. Have you ever actually set up an ofrenda? Yeah, yeah, I, I used to do that a lot. Uh, my family, all my family are from here in Mexico, so it's like a, bi a really big tradition for, for my family. Uh, this year I didn't have the opportunity because I was moving on, but uh, right. I'm for sure that my family did that at home. What did your introduction to basketball look like for you? Uh, I had two older brothers, they all play basketball. Uh, my father used to be a coach here in Mexico City, so that was when I was like really into, into basketball. And when I was uh, a kid, Seeing my older players, uh, my older bro brothers uh, playing basketball, that gets me like the introduction to, to get to it. Just being around this city, just going to all the different restaurants, just trying to get immersed into the culture as much as I can. This is my first time ever living outside of the U.S. and just being able to experience that and, and it, it kind of changes you. You kind of become a new person and I, even though I've only been here three weeks, I feel like I'm already a new person. I kind of look back at where my life was a month ago and I'm like, wow, I already experienced so much and and gained so much by living here, and it's been amazing. Xochimilco, most famous for its colorful trajineras, or boat rides, this network of canals gives tourists and locals the chance to enjoy the local food sold by vendors on boats or be serenaded by mariachis with Mexican classics. Orlando Mendez is a veteran leader of this Capitanes team and former member of the Mexican national team. How important is it that now this city and Latino talent are now getting the recognition that they deserve? I think it's amazing. There's a stat that floats around that in Mexico, one of the most practiced sports is basketball, in fact. Wow. Uh, hopefully, as a country, as a federation, with basketball in general, they can take another step. I think Capitan has done a really good job being able to give those opportunities, that exposure to basketball. It's a global sport, and that's what NBA is you know, attempting to do, right? Uh, they, they make it more global. Brazil, Argentina, you have a lot more players now in the NBA from different countries. And I think this is another step for NBA to see that Latinos and uh, U.S. citizens could play together and make the game even more global and better. Uh, and I think that's what they're, 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 they're hopeful for. And I think so far, Capitan has done a good job being able to balance the ball. Yeah, yeah, take a shot for me. How does it feel to go out to these different areas all around Mexico City and be recognized? It's amazing, honestly. You don't take it for granted. Uh, anytime someone asks me for an autograph or a picture, I, I always do my best. Whenever someone asks me for a picture, I mean, it, it's a privilege. With this team serving as the NBA's roadmap to expansion, the connection that the Capitanes are building with the Latin community is fueling one key goal continuing to grow the game of basketball. What role does this community and its fan base play on the growth of professional basketball? I think it could be huge. I mean, this is the, I think there's been one other Mexican team in a U.S. league, but maybe this is the second one. So this is a massive industry for Latin America to showcase their talent on the coaching side, player side, and then hopefully the fan base shows up and we have the best fan base in the G League, which I think could hopefully happens. Um, but I think this is a big opportunity for all of Latin American sports.
spearheading that opportunity? Coach Ramon Diaz Sanchez, who has played a big role in acclimating players from all over the world to playing in Mexico. I, I appreciate Coach so much because, um, I mean, just off, off the beginning introduction, I can already feel like I trust him. Um, he's been he's been so positive with me. Whether I'm I'm missing a shot or if I make a mistake, he's really really positive with me, and that's something that really stuck out to me. Is something that I really I really admire from him. Point hook, point hook, Ushad, boy, vamos, vamos, vamos. Un momento histórico, ¿no? Un momento histórico para México, para Capitanes, para mí. Son muchos años los que he estado aquí en Capitanes de Ciudad de México entrenando al equipo. Y desde que nos enteramos la noticia de que íbamos a ser equipo de NBA G League fue como un golpe de motivación, de ilusión, que me impulsó a mí en el plano personal, pero también a la institución, ¿no? Y eso ha conllevado pues, que todos los fans eh, nos hayan empujado y estén apoyándonos. Y yo creo que mañana domingo en nuestro debut en la arena se va a ver esa arena, ¿no? Con, con todos los fanáticos que, que van a estar llevándonos en, en volanda. Stay focused for today, stay focused for tomorrow. I want to win the first game here in Mexico City. Let's go. That first game, a Sunday evening matchup against the defending G League champion. Comment, like, and subscribe at NBA G League on YouTube for more.